Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Today we're going to be working on Put a Ring on It and a little bit of Addicted Bath Salts. I don't think that we're going to finish this one today, but we might just give it a start. Since last time I went and I uh, fought some monsters to be able to purchase uh, new weapons for everybody. I didn't upgrade the weapons, I just bought new ones. Um, I didn't really bother with the armor because I was by this time I was killing the enemy so fast. I felt that the armor was a little bit overkill, but uh, I needed the money anyway. So just head on here to uh, start our quest. So what you're saying is, any minute now, indeed, we shouldn't have long to wait. Oh, it looks like we're the customer right now. What should we do? Should we return later? Judging by the uniform, you're, uh... Oh, and I see that Lord Eustace is with you, too. Welcome to our store. Have you come regarding the field study request? We have. But I'd ask that you please refrain from giving us any special treatment on my account. If our time is inconvenient for you, we're quite amicable at returning at a later hour. No, it's quite the opposite, in fact. We were just discussing you as it happens. All right, then. Wait, you were discussing us? Does that mean... Of course, if you'd allow me to explain. This is Bent, a tourist currently staying here in Berehard. He's the one responsible for the quest that brought you here. See, I'm going to be married in the near future, and I came here to inquire about having a wedding, a wedding ring made. The artisans of Berea Heart are renowned far and wide for their skill with gem processing, so it seemed like the ideal choice. Hmm, so you've made what I presume to be a substantial journey and searched for the perfect ring. It's a wonderfully romantic thing to do, isn't it? There's no denying the quality of the jewels one can procure here, but they don't come cheap. That's exactly right, unfortunately. Buying one of the local gemstones, my income isn't very plausible. And a septium ring especially is out of the question. I quickly realized how impulsive I'd been, and I had almost given up. But then I consulted with Bruck here on whether or not I had a chance of finding a good deal, and he gave me a really good idea. That's right. A precious stone might be out of his budget, but there are stones just as beautiful that are a whole lot cheaper. Semi-precious stones, if you will. The name's pretty self-explanatory. I suggest that we make a ring for him using one, specifically a gem known as Dryad's Tear. I'm not familiar with that one. I think I may have heard of it, actually. It's made from the very particular tree sap that hardens like stone after being exposed to air for a long time, and it has a translucent shine to it that people say is easily the equal of septium. Oh, you mean like amber? That's the one! I'm surprised you know so much about it. Guess you're an expert on jewels as well, huh? That's our Emma. It's just a personal interest of mine. So does that mean that the reason you called us here is... Exactly. I'd like you to go collect one of these dryads tears from my client. Fortunately for you, many of the trees that the tears can be harvested from grow in the Norse Cruise and Highway. But even though it only qualifies as semi-precious, it's still a pretty rare gem. So finding one might not be an easy task. Well, then I suppose we'll just have to buckle down and look. It may not be quite the challenge our dear friend has made out to be, you know. Huh? Blue Blanc? Is that you? The innocent wood nymph's tear that you seek. How would you respond if I were to say that I saw him with my own eyes mere moments ago? Who's this guy? Do you know him, Eusis? I can't say I recall ever meeting him before, no. Ha! Huh. Gracious! How terribly impolite of me not to introduce myself before speaking. My name's Baron Blueblanc. It's a true pleasure to make your acquaintance. From paintings, sculptures, and the finest of arts to the most delicately detailed crafts, I'm a connoisseur and lover of beauty, craftsmanship, and artistry in all their many splendid forms. I see. He seems a little off-puttingly eccentric. But that's enough about myself. I hear you're seeking a dryad's tear. Yes, that's right. Mm, you say you saw one moments ago? Are you certain? My dear lady, I would never dream of lying about matters of beauty. I beheld the light which you seek on the northern highway. Of that I am most certain. And yet... I must confess that my knowledge of the area is not so great that I would be able to share its exact location, though perhaps that's the way it should be. After all, a brilliant light has true meaning only when one grasps it with his own two hands. You don't say. Guy's manner of speech is irritating. Hmm, so is the content of his words. Now, now, let's hear him out. Well, we're certainly appreciative of the information. May I ask why you're telling us all this, though? Perhaps it's the spirit of inquisitiveness that drives you to seek a beauty mere Mira cannot buy. It moves me so, and being the generous man that I am, I deign to extend an olive branch. Is that sufficient enough reason for you? Sure. Well, we'll soon know if he's telling the truth. Yes, 
we need to begin our search. We can choose to follow his lead, unspecific as it may be, or disregard it entirely. I think our chances are about equal either way. Well, we'll be leaving now. Hopefully you'll see us back soon enough for the Dryads here in tow. Good luck. I appreciate it. Ha! Good day to you. And yeah, we're starting up. Put a ring on it. If you like it, put a ring on it. I don't know. Lord Eustace, it's a pleasure to see you again. I'd be honest if I could be a service of you today. Please, let me know if there's anything you require. I'll be more than happy to oblige. And can we buy a um, accessories from him? We can. And uh, it's just accessories that are way too expensive for what they do, but they do prevent multiple status ailments. So that's kind of nice. Let's see if Blue Block has anything more to say. Okay. Okay, well, guess so. So let's head out into the uh, North Cruising Highway. It's the best lead we have, so why not? And we can also check out the new monsters and everything else that's uh, out here and get all the treasure. Yeah. Okay, so first things first, we have this, like, snake and an egg thing that we have to fight. Oh, four of them. Okay. Uh, let's see. I've already analyzed these guys off screen. A reptilian monster that has taken up living in the egg of a large bird. Its fangs have deadly poison inside of them, the egg snake. Oh, I'm out of CP. That sucks. It's fine, though. It's not a big deal. Uh, let's see. We'll use sweep with her. It's actually really nice. She is pretty fast, and her arts have a big range. So she's pretty good. Um, and I can use Rune Blade. Um, it, it hits an area, and it's a pretty big area, but it doesn't do a lot of damage, so I'm not a big fan. Yeah, it only did like 260. It's not that great. However, Emma has Ethereal Edge, which hits a big line, so I'm going to try that out. Nice. Oh, and it brings Art Attack Power down as well. Yeah, so uh, I gained all these different skills and everything as I was not really leveling up, but just trying to gain money. But, you know, the levels are just kind of incidental to that. So we'll just take these guys one by one. There's four enemies, and there's four of us. So we should be able to take them down one by one. There we go, especially with our new, uh, with our new weapons. Yeah. And there we go. Awesome. So yeah, they can poison, so they are kind of a pain, but they're nothing that you can't handle. It's not that big of a deal. Ooh, I haven't gained a level. Ooh, and Brave reached a uh, new level. Awesome. Done. And then those ingredients that you get also... Ooh, Splash Burn. Ooh, large area. Sweet! Um, I'll have to show that off, too. The, uh, the ingredients that you get, don't be afraid to sell them. Uh, it's probably a good idea to sell them if you need some extra money. I know that I did. Because I'm not a real big fan of, of uh, recipes. I know that I use recipes and I do uh, create things just to get the new recipes, but I'm not like cooking all the time. This game is not that hard that you have to do that. Let's check out that flash grenade. Look at that area. I love it. Oh, good damage too. Hey, not bad at all. Uh, he also got arc slash, but it doesn't hit those both of them. So I'm not going to worry about showing that off right now. But, uh, let's see what you can have. You have Rapid Thrust. Let's show that off. I don't think I showed that off in the prologue, so there it is. And get some treasure. What do we have? Ooh, tons of Sepith. Nice. Too bad you don't get Sepith Maths in there, too. Anyway, to get the uh, Dryads tier, you have to go up this way. And then, oh wait, there it is. Right here. Perfect. It's so pretty. I'd say this is it. All right, let's see if we can remove it without causing any damage. You can see right through it. Its radiance truly is the equal of Septium, just as the rumor said. Yes, I'm certain this will make for an exquisite ring. Ha, huh, I can hardly wait to see the expression on Ben's face when we show it to him. Although this does mean that the Baron was telling the truth. Yeah, and we still have no idea why he went out of his way to tell us, but there's no point in worrying about that now. We got what we came for. Yep, time to go. Let's go give this to Bent, then. But first, more treasure! Yeah, we have to get our treasure first, and then we can go uh, give him his ring. So we've already fought you, so I'll deal with you off screen. And over here, what do we have? A reviving balm. Nice. And then down here, there's one more treasure that we can get. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to fight you. If you go over to that bridge, 
they just say that it's like the Sears Bridge and that we're not required to go there, so yeah, uh, we're not going to worry about it right now. But there is a fishing spot, which I did off screen. So anyway, over here we get, ooh, Recuria. Let's check that out, see what that does. Let's see. Uh, there we go, Arts Action, Recuria. Cures of normal status. Oh, okay, well that's pretty nice. Also, in um, these fields, there were some monsters that we actually didn't run into yet uh, that I wanted to show off. We have the man trap, uh, but also there was the green raccoon, which I ran into. It's kind of a rare monster here, but you can run into it. So it's there, and that's just something to keep uh, an eye out for. So with all that being done and everything else, let's uh, head back to town and give that guy his dryads tier, or as I would like to call it, just amber, because that's really all that it is. Yeah, there's a pretty peaceful, nice area. All these nice arches and everything. Whoa, what in the world? So much for uh, nice and serene. What's going on here? I wonder if this is the uh, provincial army. Maybe they're overstepping their bounds and they're heading into the city. That was the emblem of the Kruven province, wasn't it? Are they part of the provincial army? I suspect they're members of a unit stationed in Seldic. They're likely on their way to rendezvous with the main unit in Berehart. Makes sense. I've never seen those vehicles accompanying them before, though. Reinfort's latest model of light armored transport from the looks of it. They lack the firepower of a tank, but make up for maneuverability. Huh. They must have spent a small fortune on those. You certainly seem to know a lot about them, Fee. Suppose so. Regardless, we have no reason to linger here. We should return to Berehart ourselves. Yeah, you're right. So, uh, let's just do that. Head on inside. Let's go. Well, with all that done, I think now would be a good time to go ahead and uh, turn in the quest. And just uh, head on inside. Give this guy his Dryad's Tear straight out of Secret of Mana. Ah, you're back. Uh, something wrong? Well, could you give us the item? Sure, here. Thank you. What's taking so long? If you have what I asked for, hurry up and give it to me. Uh, yes, of course, at once. What's going on? Honestly, we don't have all day. This is why you commoners never get anywhere in life. Here it is, my liege. The driest here was presented to the Count. So this is what it looks like. I can confirm that this is a genuine Dryad's Tear. I imagine it will be a bit hard, but as it's nothing more than petrified sap, you should be able to consume it without worry. Consume? We had to have heard that wrong. All right, then. What? Seriously? What are you doing? No, uh, water! Here, my lord. Scum. How did this come about? What the hell do you think you're... Machias. You there, commoner. You might want to watch your tone when addressing someone of higher rank than yourself. Damn it, this isn't good. Huh, I shall be generous and let it pass this once, but you would do well to mind your manners in the future. If you were to truly anger me, your life could be cut short, very short indeed. I think that you're the one who ought to mind his manners. What was that? L Lord Eusus! What are you doing in a place like this? That does not concern you. However, we went to great pains to find a dryad's tear for that man there, and I'm most interested in hearing what, exactly, made you feel you had the right to consume it. But, Lord Eusus, I legally purchased that stone from him. I've done nothing improper here. Is what this man says true? Yes, it is. He agreed that he would give me a sum of mirror in exchange for the tear. See? That stone was my property, which meant that I could do with it whatever I wished. Okay. But why would you want to eat it? Well, the Dryad's Tears use an Eastern herbal medicine as it's said to possess a number of useful properties. Herbal medicine? A popular variety of alternative medicine practiced in the Eastern lands. What useful properties? Nutritional supplementation, mostly. But there are some who believe it can also prevent the effects of aging. Prevent aging? Utterly ludicrous! Be that as it may, it's my prerogative. And now that the deed is done, I have no reason to remain here any longer. Lord Eusus, if you would permit it. Fine, please leave. I'm deeply grateful. If you'll excuse us then, we beg your pardon. 
I'm sorry for causing a scene. Huh. Ineffective at controlling your temper as ever I see. Some things never change. No, I should be the one to apologize. I'm sorry for making you watch that without a word of explanation beforehand, especially after all the trouble you went through to get it for me. So, is it true? Did the Count purchase it from you? Oh yeah, that was completely true. Everything was on a level. Though honestly, considering he's a noble and a Count at that, I couldn't possibly have refused. The situation may be changing for the better in Heindel or overall, but deference to those of higher stature is still the reality in areas where the Chancellor's influence doesn't reach. I thought it might be something like that. As for the ring, I'm going to make use of the mirror the Count gave me as a deposit and buy one locally. I'm really sorry for putting you through all of this. I'll need to start making my way to the station now. I don't want to miss my train. Goodbye, everyone. Why don't you just make the ring out of the sap, then? I was observing, curious as to what manner of compelling drama might unfold. But alas, all I witnessed was that farce. How long has he been here? I heard from the fine gentleman who works at this establishment that your student's here for a field study now. I hope you'll forgive me for saying so, but I believe it is the setbacks in life that make it truly beautiful to be alive. That comedy of errors may have been tough to endure, but your resultant struggle against injustice was simply breathtaking. Excuse me? However, alas, I must bid adieu, for my search can never rest ere the ultimate beauty is unearthed. I do pray we'll have the opportunity to meet again. Until such time, fare thee well, students. Isn't the ultimate beauty Oliver? Or Joshua, I think that he liked. What was that all about? I think he was just trying to tell us not to let it get to us, maybe? Uh, we still don't know why he helped us to begin with. What becomes of this request now? Good question. There's no stone left to make the ring. Does that mean that we failed? No, you did exactly what we asked of you. It's unfortunate that things ended how they did, but that was through no fault of yours, so please accept your award. Ooh, good luck. Nice. I understand how you must feel, but you did exactly what you were asked. You deserve nothing less than the reward that you were promised. I must insist. All right, thanks. Sweet. So let's check out that, uh, that quartz. This should be a pretty good one. I believe that luck was nice. Ooh, nice. That is a really good one. Let's, uh, hmm, we'll give it here instead of action. Yeah, I want to put all this stuff on Reen because he's always in your party. All this really good stuff about getting more septium, getting more drops, all that wonderful stuff. Definitely load it onto Reen. So let's go to the central plaza. Because there is another quest that we can get over here. Uh, I believe at the start of the video I talked about it a little bit, so let's talk to this guy. Excuse me, could we talk to you for a minute? Ah, uh, might those uniforms be from the Thor's Military Academy? I assume that you must be the students Lord Rufus mentioned then. Well, what's this all about? Lord Rufus asked me to give some work to some students who came along here for some manner of field study, you see. Well, in truth, he asked my father first, but he is as busy as he ever was, so the request was passed on to his heir, in other words, me. Oh ho! That sounds rather interesting, doesn't it? Now take a guess as to what I come up with. Oh, you're such a tease. Might I have some time to think about it? Uh, so, what exactly was your request? You dare interrupt our conversation? You commoners truly have no courtesy, do you? It's only natural to wait for those superior to finish the conver- Oh my. What's the matter? Lord Eustace, I had no idea you were here with these commoners. Well, I am. Do you still wish for us to remain quiet while you continue with this nonsense? Uh, of course not. We would never be so crass. I could get used to this. Why couldn't he just stand where they could see him in the first place? Well, what is it that you're looking for? Your request stated that you want some kind of bath salt. Well, you see, I'd like to request that you procure some pink salt for us. I see. That's a rather difficult request. Fret not, then! I can change the request if you wish! That won't be necessary. A request is a request. Is it that hard to find? That's not the issue. We need to make our way through the canyon to the east to find it, much like we need to do for that monster. It's closer to Oryx Fort than it is to the city, so it won't be an easy journey. Oh, I see. Why are they putting salt in the bath, though? Putting salt in bath water warms the body. I don't really care for it, but it seems to have some positive health effects. Sounds like something only nobles could afford to do. Well, either way, we know exactly where we need to go now. Yeah, let's get this cleared up when we take care of that monster. And we will be doing that next time on Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And stick around because I'm going to be doing the Imperial Chronicle Issue 2 
as well as the chapters 3 and 4 of the Carnelia today in the end slate. And have a good day!